So I figured out in my settings that you actually... What the heck? I don't even want to look at that. I, I actually can use this, the thumbstick now to play this game if I wanted to. But I'm not, because it works better with the D-pad. Even with the Xbox controller, it's horrible D-pad. Spyro just plays better on a D-pad than, than on, a, on a, a thumbstick. I'm not sure why. It's, I think also it's because when you're charging, you want to go either left or right, and it's easy to switch on a D-pad. What is this? I don't know what this is all. Oh! To all explorers, there's no Yeti here, and there never was. He was just a myth, as far as you know. Signed, The Sorceress. Oh. Yeti. Wow, I totally forgot about the Yeti. Holy crap. That's really funny, because I remember... Well, okay, I'm gonna spoil something here. But it's not really a big spoiler. There are four characters that you can play as in this game, other than Spyro. We've met two of them so far. And we just had the third one introduced to us there. Or at least mentioned. And the, for the fourth one I, I remember vividly because he's an interesting character. And the first two you remember because you see him every time. But the Yeti I had completely forgotten was even in this, in this game until just then. <laughs> wow, that's funny. He's on the cover too. Hello! Get over here, you. Oh, I see where this is going. There's a loop here that you can jump down. This should be easy. Oh, hello. Dude, you can't go left. You can't turn and go the other way, man. I'm not ready for that kind of crap. Hello. Where, did I not get you at the beginning of the level? Ooh, that's weird. Is this guy going to run all the way through the whole level? I wish he would be running... Dude, he's so fast. Oh my god. He's actually pulling away. Holy moly. These aren't supposed to be that quick. He's running faster than me. That's really weird. You don't normally see that. It's like, it seems like he is. At some points, his speed... Oh, okay, wow. I didn't think I was going to make that for a second there. It didn't look like I grabbed the edge quite far enough. I think it's just that having to jump up these is slowing me down. I'm getting closer to him, I think, overall. Yeah, he left them. He stopped there to wait because I was too far back. Isn't that interesting? They only run when you're near them. They don't even bother trying to hide or anything like that. So. Oh, dude, no, you, you totally had him, dude. You just messed it up. Ah, Crap. Crap, crap, crap. This guy's fast as hell. There you go. Shorter, shorter hops is faster. Because you're fastest when you're just charging along. There's nothing faster than charging in this, in this besides supercharging, so... Just stick to it, stay close, and get him right there. That's the easiest point to catch him, I think. Pee-wee. Pee-wee the dragon. Nice. I guess Pee-wee's a good name for a baby dragon. <coughs> oh, gosh. <coughs> my throat, man, my throat. My throat. My throat. Like NCS says, his throat. So, yeah, I had forgotten that the Yeti was even in this game. <laughs> I gotta talk about this pot that we're doing here, these mystery pots that go back to the levels. I'm really happy they put this in, because this is one of my favorite parts of the first game. Was running... Or, no, wait. No, these were in the second game, weren't they? Oh gosh, now I, now I can't remember if there were any in the first game or not. Something tells me there were. I know they were in the second game, because I remember chasing them through those weird levels on the second, uh, second world of Ripto's Rage. But, uh, going back to the level with all the ninja hippos, remember that one? But I don't remember if those... I think they were in the first game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they were, actually. Oh, I can't remember now. Man, that just bugs me. Sometimes I get confused as to which games have which things. And for some reason, I thought the Yeti was in the second game. I think it's because I was remembering the the guy from the level with the barking monks. That there's a, there's, a, there's a Yeti in that level, too, but he's not a playable character. Us, it isn't the same guy. My friends are trying to go home after a long shift in the field, but rotten Rhinox <laughs> keep knocking them down. Can you save the panda workers? All right, Shui. You bet. Please hop aboard. Make sure to toast the Rhinox, but not my... But not your friends. Don't toast my friend. All right. You know what am I supposed to do here? Oh, I see. Oh, hello. What am I what am I looking for here? So what? Just these guys? This doesn't seem fun at all. What am I missing? Oh shit! I hit him! Ah now I see. Some of them get in the way. I'm sure you would succeed if you were to try again. I'm sure we would succeed if we work together. Yes, yes, yes. See, why, why are all these pandas working individually? If they teamed up as a group, they could do some amazing things together. Big panda orgies. Now, apparently, isn't it, isn't it pandas that we, that we have the hardest time getting to mate in zoos? 
think it is pandas. We have we have one male panda that just refused to mate with a female panda for the longest time, I think. Dude, if you could hit either of those guys, that would be just great. Oh, yeah. That worked really well. Nice. Yeah, there you go. Good job. Is that all? I think there's more. Shit, shit! Hit him! Yes! Now what? Damn it. Firing twice. <laughs> this just doesn't seem to be quite enough to get some of these guys. Come on, I got him. Yes! I mean, that's all of them. Sparks is looking around because I haven't moved. Take this shiny egg. It will bring you good luck. Thank you. Ancient panda secret. Named Rusty. See, Rusty... Is that a female dragon? It had a bow on its head. What the heck? You don't... What? Female dragon with a... a named Rusty. That's, that's so weird. Smash to the mountain top. Wow, we have... We're missing 200 gems. Holy crap, did I miss the big section of the level somewhere? Okay, well, let's look around, shall we? How, how would I smash to the mountaintop? Why don't I remember that at all? Oh, it's the Yeti section. That's right, okay. Well, I presume at this point that we're not missing. Oh, yeah, the Yeti section in this level is actually really fun. I remember that. Okay, well, we're going to leave then. We won't know whether we have all the gems or not until we get the Yeti and bring him back here. Oh, the Yeti. I forget how he controls. I do remember there's one mini-game with the Yeti where I think the Yeti from the second game becomes involved. If I, remember, if I remember correctly, he does. Holy crap, this video's getting really long. I'm sorry about that, guys. I didn't mean to make a really long, really long video. So, uh, in the next episode, we're gonna go to... What is this level? Country Speedway. Is that the... Wait, did we do... How come nobody asked me to go to the Whirly Gig if we didn't... Where's the... No, 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 no. I want the home world. Enchanted Towers. Oh, right. I need to go into the Enchanted Towers next. So that's the one over here by, by Hunter. So that's where we'll go in the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. What's up, guys? I'm just going to throw some stuff on the end of this video here because I feel like it. Some stuff just happened that I want to mention, and I also wanted to read some haikus to you guys. So let's start with the haikus here. I'm looking at the comments from the last video. <laughs> a couple of these are from the same users. Actually, there's let's see, there's five haikus that I got yesterday, and they're all they're all pretty good. Let's see. I'm gonna do my favorite one last. So let's see. Let's start with some. Let's, let's do the other four. Okay. So this is first one is uh, by Predatory Phoenix. Spyro the dragon, the sorceress he must beat. By saving babies. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. So this one's by 11374265151. I am going to try, but not in this video. So I'll just say bye. <laughs> That's like existential haiku. I write a haiku about not writing a haiku. <laughs> and the second one is, this next one is like that too. This is by Shinji's Lover. I would do haiku. But I really, really suck. Sorry about that. <laughs> I, I like that. I like that. And this one is by Omega Force Guy. What's with the jazz men? From whom these dragons are named? What's going on, man? That's interesting because I didn't, I didn't realize it, but apparently Herbie and Mingus, both of those dragons that had those strange names I commented on, they're both named after jazz musicians. Someone pointed that out a few videos ago. It might have been the same guy here. And this is my favorite one here. This is the last one. This one's also by Predatory Phoenix. This LP is fun. Poncho's memes keep it so cool. A baby dragon! <laughs> That's so funny because when I read it the first time, I read it in my own voice. Which you don't, you don't realize that... When you, when you speak, the voice that you hear yourself saying is not the same as the voice that other people hear. And so if when I listen to my videos, the voice that I hear coming out of the speakers doesn't sound like the voice that I hear when I talk. Because the, some of the sound goes through your head, you know, and not just through your ears. Look it up online. Uh, maybe, maybe there'll be a link in the description. But 
So basically, I, I instead of reading that in the voice that my internal monologue is in, in my head, I read it in the voice that I hear when I listen to my LPs. And so I was like, I got memed by my own meme, and it just it really cracked me up. That was, that, was, that was probably my favorite one. But uh, and then I wanted to also talk about what just happened. You remember the other day when I was filming DK64, and I was ding-dong ditched? Well, it just happened again. Except this time, the person who did it came back like a, a couple minutes later to apologize. <laughs> and I actually met her, and then she took me down, to, and I met her friends. And so it's like, oh, I just made three or four new friends because they ding-dong ditched me. It's like, what? How does this happen? But apparently they aren't the same person who did it a few days ago because I asked. So it's like, oh, so now there's at least two groups of people ding dong ditching in my dorm. One of them is friendly, <laughs> so I don't know, man. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to quit rambling on the black screen. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you have any more good haikus, leave them in the comments. I, I enjoy reading them.